Good morning, ma'am. My name is Meryl Joyce Colong. I am a second year medical student from Davao Medical School Foundation. And today, I am in charge of doing your history taking. So before we start, ma'am, I will be asking some questions, okay? Uh, first, uh, may I know your complete name, your age, your address, your marital status, your occupation, and religion. Okay, so uh, today, ma'am, no? um, for our examination, I will be asking kung ano po yung reason niya, bakit po kayong papakonsult. At then, after that, I will be asking a series of questions, no? Relating to your uh, past medical history, obstetrics and gynecologic history, uh, your family history as well as your uh, personal social history, and also lastly would be the review of systems, okay? So, uh, this will aid us na in uh, limiting our uh, diagnosis, so to come up with the final diagnosis. Actually, possible diagnosis, okay? So, will that be okay with you? Yes, po, no? Okay, so let us start. So, um, may I know po, ma'am, your reason na bakit po kayo mag nagpa-consult today? Ah, uh, nagka-fever po ako, Doc. Okay, kaya lang po nag-start yung fever? Kahapon po, Doc. Okay, yesterday. So, um, and how long po yung duration ng fever niyo po, ma'am? Mga around 1 to 2 hours po, Doc? Okay, so how about yung characteristics po ng fever niyo po, ma'am? Is it on and off or does it occur whole day? On and off po, Doc. Okay, so, um, did you drink or did you take any medication to relieve your fever? Ah, uh, yes po, Doc. Nag-take po ako ng paracetamol, Doc. 500 mg. One tablet every four hours. Okay. Uh, aside from fever, uh, did you notice any other symptoms such as um, uh, any pain sa body? Uh, ano po, Doc? Uh, masakit po kung mag Doc. Okay. Did you, uh, did you notice any pain sa lower back? Ah, uh, yes po, Doc. Dito po, banda, Doc. Okay, sige. Um, did you notice um, any, uh, nagkaroon po ba kayo ng ubo or uh, headache o paghihilo? Uh, wala naman po. No? Okay, so, um, yung fever niya po ba, ma'am, does it occur in a specific time of the day, like sa morning or sa evening? Uh, any time of the day naman po. No? Okay, so, um, did you have chills uh, during uh, your fever? Uh, wala naman po, Doc. Okay. So, did you uh, record your temperature? Uh, yes po, Doc. Uh, kahapon po, Doc, it was 38.3. Okay. Uh, tapos, uh, ngayon po, Doc, kanina po, Doc, is 38.6. Okay, okay. So, did you have any history? Travel history? Uh, wala naman po, Doc. Okay. So, we will not proceed with the past medical history. Will that be okay? Yes po, Doc. Okay. So, uh, during your childhood, ma'am, no? Um, have you had any of the following diseases such as um, chicken pox, measles, or asthma? Uh, I've had chicken pox and asthma po, Doc. Ano ka nimutan ka na po, kaya lang, Doc. Okay. Uh, how about, ngayon po, ma'am, do you have any current medical illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension? Wala po, Doc. Okay. Uh, how about your asthma po, ma'am? Uh, yung asthma ko po, Doc, uh, wala na po siya ngayon. Actually, Doc, uh, meron po po lang ng allergies, no, nung bata po ako, and until na meron po yun po. Allergic rhinitis po, Doc. Ah, okay, okay. So, you have aller allergic rhinitis before and until now. Yes po, Doc. Okay, so, um, how about, um, uh, were you hospitalized before? Yes po, Doc. May I know, uh, ano po yung condition niya that time? Ah, nagagastritis po ako, Doc. Okay, so, um, could you still remember kung kailan pa kayo nagkaroon ng gastritis? Um, I think I was around 7 years old po, Doc, pero hindi ko na pong na-remember exactly yung time. Ah, uh, it's okay pa nga, okay lang po. How about, ano po, uh, how long po kayo na confined po sa hospital? Mga 3 days po, Doc. Okay, so have you, ha have you had any, um, surgeries before? Ah, uh, wala po, Doc. Okay, so how about, um, psychiatric illnesses? Were you diagnosed with any... Uh, psychiatric illnesses such as um, anxiety disorders or um, depression. Uh, wala naman po, Doc. Okay. Uh, are you taking any maintenance right now? Uh, no po, Doc. How about your vaccination, your vaccines? Um, kompleto po ba kayo sa mga vac vaccines niyo po? Uh, yes po, Doc. Actually, meron po immunization record ng mom ko. Well, that's good. Na. It's good to keep track now with your vaccines, your vaccinations. Okay. How about screening tests such as um, FDS? Uh, OGTT or uh, lipid profile. Ano po, Doc? Uh, FPS and lipid profile po, Doc. Uh, during annual examinations or Okay. 
So next po ma'am, we will proceed with the obstetrics no, and gynecologic history. So, I'll be asking po ma'am, kailan po yung first day ng last menstruation niya? Uh, it was around, ano po, December 22, 2020. Okay, so based on that, no, uh, your expected date of delivery would be September 29, 2021. And for your age of gestation, so since today is May 22, 2021, uh, your age of gestation would be um, 21 weeks. Okay, so you are more than halfway now uh, in your pregnancy. Okay, so... Um, have you had any uh, previous pregnancies before? Uh, I've had one po, Doc. And nagkaroon po ng spontaneous abortion po. Yung tayo sabi ng doctor, spontaneous abortion. Ah, I see. So you only have one pregnancy before this. So this is your currently your second pregnancy. Yes po, Doc. So based on that, your GPA score would be G2P0A1. Uh, no? And for your people score, it is 0010. Okay? Uh, how about sa uh, menstruation niyo po, ma'am? Um, sa menstruation niyo po, ma'am, um, is there um, uh, regular po ba? Yes po, doc. Okay, uh, may dysmenorrhea po ba during, pregnant, uh, during menstruation? Sometimes po, doc. Okay, so do you practice um, any um, family planning method? Uh, no po, doc. Okay, so now we will proceed now with the uh, family history. Na. For the family history, um, is there anyone in your family who has uh, hypertension, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular diseases, or thyroid problems, or anything like that? Uh, sa both parents ko po, the hypertension po, the, they are taking um, those heart attack po. The, okay. How about uh, cancer? No? Is there anyone who has cancer in your family? Uh, yung tita ko po, the, uh, breast cancer po. Pero okay na po siya ngayon. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good to hear. Okay, how about the genetical, uh, genetically transmitted, a transmissible disease? Like such as anemia, cystic fibrosis, or Down syndrome? Uh, wala naman po, doc. Okay, so now we will proceed now with the personal history, personal and social history. So, um, yung exercise niyo po, do you exercise regularly? Ah, uh, yes po, doc. Ah, uh, kahit pa yung pregnancy po, ng exercise na po ako. Uh, how about ngayon po, man? Ah, uh, I do Pilates po, doc. Oh, that's good, that's good. Um, how about uh, your diet? Uh, balanced diet po ako always. So, until now po, doc. That's good to hear. No? That's good to hear. Okay, how about um, do you smoke or drink? Uh, no po, doc. Okay, so do you practice any alternative health care uh, practices such as yoga, acupuncture? Uh, no po, doc. Okay. How about um, your relationship no, with your family? Okay po ba? Okay naman po, doc. Okay. I'm okay with my husband and with my uh, family po, doc. Okay. So, um, how about uh, your interest po, ma'am? Uh, I'm really interested po in working out. Oh, that's good to hear, no? Bigila lang po talaga. Nakakalilig ng ganyan na, na answer po. But that's good. That's good. Okay. So, next we will proceed now with the review of systems. Now, for the review of systems, now, I will be asking you a series of questions which you could answer only by yes or no. Okay. So, I will be asking you from different systems, no? If meron po kayong na-feel na ganito, ganyan. Just answer yes or no. Okay? So, first, ma'am, did you notice any uh, weight change? Yes po, doc. Uh, Nag-gain pa ako actually ng mga 6 kilos. Okay? Uh, during your pregnancy na po. Yes po, doc. Okay. Um, did you notice any rashes? No po, doc. How about headache? No po, doc. How about um, bird vision? No po, doc. How about earache? No rin po, doc. Uh, frequent colds? Uh, yes po, doc. Kasi ano po, doc, uh, sa allergic rhinitis ko po, po, ah, okay, tama po pala. Okay, how about sore throat? No po, doc. Did you notice any swollen glands, no, sa, uh, swollen glands po sa neck? No po, doc. How about, um, do you do self-breast examination frequently? Ah, uh, yes po, doc. Okay, so how about, um, palpitations? No po, doc. Cough? No po, doc. Um, any trouble swallowing? None po, doc. Okay. How about uh, blood in the urine? None po, doc. Okay, how about um, any abnormal discharge or smelly discharge sa genital area? None po, doc. Okay, so how about varicose veins? None po, doc. Okay, so how about, um, do you notice any muscle or joint pain? None po, doc. Do you notice any parang, um, pag, uh, frequent na parang nervousness? Uh, none po, doc. Uh, changing the mood? 
Nan po do. Okay, so how about um may na notice po ba yung um bruises sa body? Nan po do. How about uh, do you have thyroid problem? Nan po do. Okay, so actually we're almost done with our examination. I'll just uh, sum it up. Okay, so to summarize na our examination, so um. Uh, you came here today no, due to fever, which uh, happened yesterday, which once it was yesterday. And for the description of the fever, it is on and off. Uh, duration is one to two hours, and it occurs any time of the day. Tama po ba? Yes po, Doc. Okay, and then uh, you have taken paracetamol. And asso other associated symptoms are um, pain during urination and pain sa lower back. Tama po ba, ma'am? Okay. Uh, after that, um, temperature is 38.3 to 38.6. Siyempre, ang rate ng range siya. Temperature, tama, niya, tama po ba, ma'am? Yes, po. So, okay. And, uh, no travel history. Uh, well, naman yung chills, okay? So, for the uh, past medical history, during childhood, no, nagkaroon po kayong chicken pox, asthma, and allergic rhinitis. Tama po ba, ma'am? Yes, po. So, and then, for the uh, present illness, wala naman pong any uh, systemic, no, systemic na, uh, Diseases, no, except for allergic rhinitis. Okay, uh, well, uh, you were hospitalized before due to gastritis. Tama po ba, ma'am? Yes, po. Okay. And, um, for, uh, well, alam po, maintenance, vaccination is complete. And, um, you, are, you have already undergone screening tests such as FBS and lipid profile, no? And then, uh, for the obstetrics and gynecologic, um, history, no, uh, you are currently in your 21 weeks of gestation. Um, your expected date of delivery is September 29, 2021. You had pre uh, previous pregnancy before and had spontaneous abortion. Uh, GPA score is G2P0A1. PPL, P P P PPL score is 0010. Okay? And then does, does not practice any family planning method. Okay? And then after that, uh, for the family history, no? Um, both of your parents are hypertensive, merong cancer patients sa uh, uh, relatives mo, your tita, tama po ba? Yes po, doc, okay. And then, as for the personal and social history, uh, active lifestyle, no? you, you, you exercise daily, and you also have a healthy lifestyle because you, you eat balanced, you have a balanced diet, that, which is very good, no? And then, after that, um, for the review of systems, or ROS, no, um, the only abnormality na pansin ko is um, uh, the frequent cold, which is due to your ano nga po, no? allergic rhinitis. Okay, so actually for your condition po ma'am, no, it is possible that it could be um, a urinary tract infection or pyelonephritis, no? and which is also a common complication among pregnant women. No? So to, to, uh, to have a further uh, mag-year toward tayo dun sa diagnosis na yun, no? um, I will, uh, we should run some tests such as urinalysis and CBC no, to support our diagnosis. And also, uh, after, the, after having the results, make sure to consult your, uh, your ob your doctor, no, so that you will be aware no, of your condition. Okay, and then if you have any other um, complaints no, or any, any symptoms na, 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 na nararamdaman, make sure to, to consult your doctor no, to, to keep you healthy. Okay? So, uh, I hope you will have a good pregnancy, no? Pregnancy journey. Uh, I hope you stay healthy and have a great day. Do you have any questions before we end our examination? None, Pa Doc. Okay, so thank you so much for cooperating and have a great day. Thank you, Pa Doc.